Fancy seeing you in my shopping bag. Wanna see what I got? No, no, we have to go. I can't, I can't show the people what I got? No, we're running late. Sorry guys, guess I'll have to wait till after. I don't wanna go. <laughs> got to. Else our car is gonna break down and we're all gonna die. Oh no. My laptop's too big for the bag. Hey, thanks for the help. Just needs a woman's touch. <laughs> So I wanted today's video to be more about what I don't spend money on anymore, but I guess as a byproduct of that, I also have to talk about things I do spend money on. And one of those things is unfortunately having to take my car to get serviced. Don't worry baby, we'll take care of you. I didn't mean to say it like that. I didn't mean to sound so reluctant. Look at that, we arrived right on time. We weren't late. You're making me leave so fast, rushing us out the door. Well, if I didn't, we would have been even later. So I, we left at the perfect time, because I rushed you. Just see, like, to move like this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that nice keys. That's not a nice key. Goose. The first one of the season. He's like, oh, I guess I'm early. Where's all your friends, buddy? Don't worry, baby. They're gonna take very good care of you. Don't worry. That's weird. It's gross. Yeah, it's gross. The amount of dust on here. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get a detail. We'll get it detailed, all right? I had the valuables. Pencil, we can't take it. Anything else? All right, so now we've got some time to kill before the car's ready again. So, looking around, trying to find something to do. Turns out there's not very much, um, but we are hungry. So, looks like we're gonna have to go to Tim Hortons. All right, now that we've got some subpar food in our bellies there. They actually forgot my bacon on my sandwich, which kind of sucked. I think it's probably time to head back to the dealership and pick our car up and uh, be on our way for the rest of the day. But that's that's one one of the things that I tend to not really spend money on is, is take out food for the most part. And I know a lot of people probably think, well, maybe you're saving money on convenience, but are you really? Did you see that drive-through line? Like, I don't know if you're saving any time there. Like, I think I can make myself something much, much quicker. Anyway, let's head back to the dealership. There's our friend again. They're summoning the army. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I... I mean, I've never owned a car before, but I didn't know it was this expensive. This sucks. I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, and we were there for... We were there for so long. Like After we got Jim Hortons, I thought that was the end of it. No, 
We were there for like another two or three hours. Yeah, we were there for like four hours in total. Oh boy. You should have been paying us. I, f- I feel like, okay, if anyone out there, you know, this is our first time owning our own car. Um, and if there's anyone out there who knows how to deal with this better, should we go to dealerships? Is that all a scam? Do we do we do we go to a mechanic? Like, what's what's the best course of action here so we're not caught in this this mm-hmm. show again? Oh, I can't swear. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they didn't even wipe up the dust and the dashboard. I guess technically that's our responsibility. <laughs> All that money, they couldn't even swiffer. All right, so as we're driving home here, a little bit of a debrief of what we got going on so far. So things I do have to spend money on nowadays. Car maintenance. Things I don't normally spend money on is a subpar turkey club that's supposed to be a turkey baking club without the bacon. Tim Hortons has really gone downhill, I swear. Yeah, they have. I don't understand how they have burgers now. They're burgers? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. And they have chicken sandwiches, like stuff that's yeah. that's past, you know, the classic Timmy's. Yeah, and potato wedges. I mean, I guess it's an offshoot of like a half a hash brown, but I don't know, man. I feel like they had some main focuses and they should have just stuck to it, you know? Yeah. Although the Tim Beebs are fire. <laughs> yeah, the Tim Beebs are pretty good. <laughs> but but since we are stressed after that car maintenance endeavor i think we need a little pick me up yeah that's quite good yeah and they're not too small Mm -hmm. i think that's redemption from tim hortons you see because sometimes you know when you like want something especially food you're hungry you need food and it doesn't hit the spot Mm. Mm-mm. This hits it. This hits it. A nice local taco shop. Give them a, the people a little bit of a detail shop. A little detail shop. So, everything today, including the fat, the fat car maintenance payment, that's fat with a PH, was put onto one of these bad boys right here. <laughs> this day was only made possible by the excellent folks. Oh my god, I just spit a lot. Over at Neo. And I think we should be seeing some sweet, sweet cash back from, from all that spending today. Yep. So a lot of you guys, you know, you already know the deal on Neo. They've been sponsoring the channel for a little while right now. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to them, you know. I've just been, honestly, we were having dinner one time and the waitress came over to, to uh, collect payment for the meal. Mm-hmm. And I pull out my Neo card and she goes, Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking card. And then I gave her the whole the whole uh, the, the the whole Neo spiel. So that's how you know that's how you know that how much I genuinely really like them. That mm-hmm. I, I literally am an evangelist for them in real life to people that I meet. I love the card so much. But in particular, one of the really cool ones they got going on right now is a cash secured card. So any of you guys out there that have been struggling with uh, getting approved for a credit card um, because of your credit history or because you have no credit history, any any types of issues with that, Neo has this really awesome cash secured card where you have to put a super small amount of money down and you're basically guaranteed to get approved for this card and it has all the same great perks as their normal card, which means no fees, no annual fees, none of that garbage and on top of that you get great cash back around five percent average at their partners and today i'm really excited to check and see how how much cash back we got from from spending that money but yeah i took it all yeah justine actually put it on her neo card i sniped it also um a lot of people don't know this about steve but um in real life irl he's a man of few words so, you know, for him to say something about the Neo card to a random stranger, I think says a lot about Neo. Yeah, I would say that's true. So check out the link in the description down below if you want to check out the excellent Neo card. Big shout out to them. 
Thanks for sponsoring this video. Shop local. Shop local. After we finish eating these up, we're finally, we're finally gonna run it back to the beginning of the video and we're gonna uncover what was in that bag. And here's a hint. I'm gonna be putting it on my body for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> what what are you doing? What was that? Let's take a picture of our food. Tell us about your your nice uh, lunch challenge <laughs> you've got at work. You see. Wait, my hair is messed up. <sighs> you see, Justine's actually in charge of workplace culture. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> She's in charge of workplace culture at her at her um, design firm that it's she started with friends. her friends. It's very nice. Tell us about the culture. Um, well, I just like to share what I eat every day with my friends, so. And what's it called? It's called the hashtag what's for lunch challenge. <laughs> and you find that sharing what you eat for lunch is fostering a nice workplace culture. Yeah, because uh, I think a lot of the time, uh, you know, we forget to eat lunch because we're just so focused on the, the work at hand. So it reminds people to take care of themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also just have fun and to laugh. And today we, <clears throat> ate, we ate the food too quickly for to photograph the, the What's For Lunch challenge, so. Yeah, so maybe I'll find a picture on the internet and then also uh, pair it with the picture of this bag. Sounds nice. Ink that'll work. Sure. Let's go home. And we're back. Hope you guys are ready for a fashion show. So I'm gonna be trying this stuff on and then explaining why I bought it because I think it's it's kind of significant and kind of ties into the whole conversation today. But don't get your hopes up because we are not trying these on. That's for this lucky lady's eyes only. Yes, yes. Are you not entertained? Gotta do the guy hand rub. Any other poses they do? <laughs> no, that's what girls do. And you gotta go on a diagonal. More. The shell was in more. I'm not that flexible. That's why I get get massages because my shoulders are tight. So I've got some explaining to do here. So basically what's going on is I've been shopping a little bit for clothing for myself because this is something that I have not done in a number of years. I, I used to have a ton of these old clothes, but the trick is you wanna buy something once and then cry once. When it comes to clothing, what I've learned, especially from Justine, is that buying quality is very important and one of the main ways you can figure out if something is made of quality is you look at the materials that it is made with so for example this is a heavyweight 100 percent cotton t-shirt something like this that i got from h m a number of years back is made of a lot of acrylic that's just not going to hold up well over time and that's going to lead to you cycling through more clothing that's why you know call it the fast fashion industry what what should people be looking for in terms of materials when they're buying clothing mm, organic materials oh instead of like plastics and stuff yeah but it's a complicated topic because sometimes things are grown very unsustainably as well so that's why a lot of places talk about organically or sustainably sourced materials so you want sustainably sourced organic materials yeah but also since there's so much plastic already out there in the world like polyester yeah like recycled polyester mm -hmm. 
Patagonia. That's their whole thing. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, I think this video was uh, might have been kind of stupid at this point. I'm not even really sure what <laughs> what the takeaway from this is. I guess it was just a just a vlog. <laughs>